Some of the strongest fighters for freedom are women. Programming that gets passed from generation to generation where there's not really a good upbringing, bad parenting, which causes stress, which causes people to eat more. You know, you have to check at all these different patterns that actually make people crave for food and eat it in such amounts that it actually causes their body to expand extensively and for them to uh, become sick as well or to emotionally eat their problems away. Once upon a time, there was a little boy who loved to eat. And so he grew up to be a big boy who loved to eat. Yeah, Dom DiNapoli loved to eat. But Dom's sister, Antoinette, thought he should stop eating so much. I made an appointment for you with Dr. Schwartzman. Dr. who? Dr. Schwartzman, the diet doctor. So when Dom went on a diet... Royal chicken and kale... And non-fat milk for me. She was very happy. <laughs> but when he didn't, she was very unhappy. Son of a... <laughs> now, Dom's brother, Frankie, thought he should go on a diet, too. What makes you think there's even one drop? One drop of honey left. So Dominic tried not to eat. Do not give me these keys, no matter what. And his brother was very happy. <laughs> It was no use. Dom DiNapoli, and he really loved to eat. And so he ate, and ate, and ate, and then he ate some more. And then one day, he met Lydia. And love became his steady diet. Lydia. Lydia. My name is Dom. Dom DeLuise, M. Bancroft, Candy Azara, and Ron Carey in Fat Zone from 20th Century Fox. It's like an addiction to eating, bro. Mm -hmm. The history of it in my family, my mom, when I was six years old, I used to come up to the city every once a month to go see her. Because uh -huh. she was in this hospital called Langley Porter, it's a psychiatric hospital, because she was bulimic, mm. anorexic, bulimic. Like she was overweight all her life mm -hmm. and her people around her and her mom and her dad mm -hmm. more so her dad would get on to her about her weight the first thing that attracts guys is a nice figure and girls have to be thin and shapely you know i want you to be happy i want you to have the storybook romance to do that you know you're going to need to lose weight and, and, um, and fit that image. I'm a Christian. Did you ever go to church? Yeah. Did you ever go to church? Yes, I did. Would you wear that outfit to church? No, I wouldn't. No. Yeah, I just wanted to know where your head was at. So one summer, she just worked out her ass off. We work out like in the, the, the hottest part, yeah. time of the day part of the year in August and like work out fucking eat a lot because her dad would talk about her weight but then she would but then he would cook her like hella good meals but fattening meals you know oh right yeah and then she would eat the food the and throw up shit. yeah good homemade stuff nice and she would eat the food and go throw up and mm. Mm. bulimic <laughs>
so I come up here to the city like a building like that mm-hmm. and uh, like that and visit her on the weekend I used to love to come up here so much yeah yeah what more can you want come up here this vibe and then see your mom too yeah. you haven't seen in a long time that's sick that was yeah. a good ass view yeah well you know it's me i'm, I'm evolving you know I'm, I'm i'm really you know i'm evolving from from even from my body from my mind everything you know my spirit everything yeah. You know, sometimes I'm like all nauseated because certain foods just don't do it for me no more. You know what I'm saying? Like as much as I, you know, like as much as I'm a human that overeats every single day of my life, you know, I'm, I, eat, I have to eat three meals, but really, you know what I'm saying? We should be able to control, like, our mind should be able to control that we only need one meal a day, you know, and it doesn't have to be no fucking jack in a box. How come we can't be, how come we can't be able to, you know, pick some fruit? Ladies and gentlemen, our national anthem. I'm really hungry. Not really. I was hungry, so I started making this video. Always thinking about food most of the time. Most of the time. What we got? Food. Thinking about food. Sex. Music. Weed. Dreams. 